Then you have another sign of Qiyamah. The Prophet ﷺ says, a time will come. يستحلون الحيرة People will consider zina and adultery halal. They'll give it a different name and they'll, they'll consider it permissible. Harira. Harir means silk. And the term silk for men. Silk is here referring to feminine clothing for males. Will become something that everybody will consider okay. Have you seen the skinny jeans and all these shirts? Wallahi, more worse than feminine. Today I spoke at Jumu'ah and I said, Do you know this business of covering yourself properly? We always blast the women. Wallahi, the same ruling applies to the men. Did you ever know that? When we say same ruling, we're talking of the aura might be slightly different. Yes, for a man. The, 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 what is considered private part is slightly different. But the clothing needs to be made of a certain of material and loosely fitting. Did you ever know that? That's also for a man. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding. Today you have skinny jeans. That's absolutely unacceptable. It's equivalent to a mini skirt of a female. Did you know that? Today you have tight shirts with your buttons open and you want to expose. That is equivalent to perhaps something else that the females are doing. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding. The men folk, especially the youth, do not be conned by the television and the media into wearing items that are totally un-Islamic. They chase away the angels of mercy and protection that have been sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for myself and yourself. So this is why we say clothing of women worn by men. Clothing of men worn by women. What will happen? An increase in homosexual behavior. A'udhu billah. Look at this. We see it happening in front of us. An increase in homosexual behavior. A woman is so exposed that there's no big deal. A man is so covered that when he shows his foot, another man is looking at him. Have you thought of that? That's exactly what's happening on the globe. A woman is so exposed that when you look at her, it's no big deal, you don't get aroused. And a man is so well covered that when another man sees his calf, he says, Ooh, Allahu Akbar, Allah safeguard us. That is how homosexuality spreads. This is why we say, women, when you cover from top to bottom, the day you expose your calf to your husband, Wallahi, if he's a good believer who lowers his gaze, he will appreciate every millimeter of it. Allahu Akbar. Today, nothing is appreciated. Why? Because you just go to the mall and what you see is far better than anything you have. You're not going to get that. Never ever. Your eyes can be filled with everything. You're never going to get it. You'll die depressed, but you're not going to get that. Allahu Akbar. So rather make use of what you have and thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a sign of qiyamah, a sign of the hour. So this is why we need to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us. You know, when it comes to clothing, remember there is a reason why Allah has set aside different clothing and different positions, different roles for people to fulfill so that they are attracted to one another in the correct sense.